In the mountains of Romsdalen, Norway, stands the Barrows family mansion. This mansion had a large clock tower by which the locals tended their flocks in the surrounding fields. The local people called this mansion the Clock Tower. In 1986, the mistress of Barrow's mansion gave birth to twins, but from the day they were born, it was obvious the twins were not normal. They were evil. The twins were given the names Bobby and Dan, who were later to become the murderous Scissormen. In 1995, a young girl from the Granite Orphanage was lured into Barrow's mansion, where she was attacked by a monster wielding a giant pair of scissors. That monster was the grown-up Bobby. She managed to escape from the terrible horrors, destroy the monster, and flee the mansion. For the next year, all of Norway was caught up with the sensationalized Scissorman murderer. Although Jennifer thought he was dead, Scissorman has once again resurfaced. All the victims were slashed to death. With a knife? No. It sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for prey. A trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Here it is. The Barros Mansion. We have to go there and look around, or we'll never solve the mystery of Scissor Man. You've got to be joking. It's way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we're not safe anywhere, gods. One after another, the horrifying murders continue. <gasps> Who will make it through this game of murder alive? Clock Tower, Episode 1, The Return.